Dear friends, this year, living under the shadow of COVID-19, choices seem to have vanished for many of us. We can't choose where we go, how we work, and how we celebrate with our friends, our families. We should be celebrating the just ended decade on desertification, for example. But as people suffer and as jobs and income are lost, we at the UN Convention to Combat Desertification instead extend our deepest sympathies to everyone affected. While some of our choices and freedoms have been temporarily curtailed, we have not lost all power and influence. We can still make some important choices. If we take care of nature, nature will take care of us. We need nature. Nature does not need us. If we intrude into nature's wild spaces and degrade the land, we can expect more zoonotic diseases to emerge. We can expect the services land provides us with, healthy food, clean air and water, to disappear. In our globalized world, the food we eat, the feed for our livestock, and the fiber for our clothes impact land thousands of miles away. Each of us hold the power to protect the land for each choice we make in our daily lives. And we can still choose to protect nature. By doing so, we in fact protect our future. The food we lose or waste every year uses 1.4 billion hectares. By wasting food, we indeed waste land and water. We waste our biological resources. We emit carbon we jeopardize the future of new generations. In most cases, how much food we waste is entirely our choice. The land used to graze and produce grains to feed animals make up 80% of agricultural land. But we can choose a more balanced diet. By 2030, the fashion industry is expected to use 35% more land, much of it to grow materials for cheap, and throw away fashion. But we can choose that shirt or those jeans more carefully. Those choices do not diminish our quality of life. On the contrary, they improve it. A new social contract for nature would see humankind committed to building back better, smarter, and stronger in the years to come. If we choose to work in harmony with nature, we will avert land degradation. We will curb our emissions we will reverse biodiversity loss. If we choose to restore the land rather than destroying it, we can create jobs and opportunities. If, like us, you are inspired by the 80 countries that have pledged to restore 400 million hectares by 2030, you can choose to support communities restore their land. By doing so, you restore hope too. Your choices matter, and no choice is too small. Thank you.